what is going on guys so Barrett Fragrance has recently sort of rebranded his presentation we did his bottles uh, we did his packaging so I'm super interested in checking out some of these fragrances we got three fragrances here but we're gonna go over one of them uh, I always like to do one fragrance at a time for the videos and not go over too many all at once as you see he has a box presentation which I don't believe he had at first. Got Barrett Fragrance, got it in gold on the front. This is like a grayish brown, like a dark grayish brown color to that box. Let's go ahead and take this out the box, take this out the wrapper, get a closer look at this. So you get like a nice matte finish on that box. Like I said, it's like a grayish brown, like a really dark grayish chocolate brown. You got extract de parfum on the side here. Barrett Fragrances. Or on top, written in gold. Got X-ray again on the side, nothing on the bottom. On the front, X-ray de parfum, 50 ml. And you got like the gold border right around that burning fragrance. And on the back, you got your warning info, a little bit of ingredient info as well. Go ahead and open this up. And just impressively, you are met with a silver cap with Barrett fragrance embellished right inside that cap oh my god yo that is absolutely gorgeous just beautiful yo that's a gorgeous thumbnail right there love that sort of uh ribbed neck on that atomizer or on that cap beautiful color juice on there as well like a really nice uh gold color on that juice meadow breeze is the name of this fragrance Got like a nice reflective sort of plate on the front. Showcasing you guys all of my little computer here. Cap actually holds really well, nice and snug. And that goes a long way. You, you want a nice snug uh, cap. You don't necessarily want to always pick your stuff up by the cap, but sometimes it really sucks when you reach and you grab it and it just slides right off. Really snug. And this is a heavy and weighty cap as well. Got a nice amount of weight to it. For some reason in the fragrance world, having certain elements about your fragrance, a heavy bottle, a heavier cap, it leads the person who's consuming it to feel that this may be quality. Now, it isn't going to be until you smell it when you really get to understand that it's true or not. But if you get a fragrance that smells good and it's presented well, the presentation is good and it's kind of weighty, it just adds to that overall element. So far, I'm loving this presentation. This is stellar. I'll try this out right here on the arm. Check out this atomizer. Really nice atomizer. Nice medium blaster. Not too much, not too little. Mmm, mmm. What, what I'm catching almost comes off like a minty barbershop, herbal, like really light fougere kind of a scent. Like I'm getting some green, something watery possibly. Uh, could be maybe some oak moss in there, maybe some mint, um, maybe either like a rosemary, tarragon. Mm, it's got a little bit of like this pepperiness in there. There's something about it that leans a little bit more slightly aquatic, but not overly so. Has like this nice, fresh, uh, wash to shore kind of a smell to it. Has a mintiness, there is a green aspect to it, like a green herbal aspect. There is something in it that feels like, uh, I like guess, possibly like a creamy, creaminess to it. Maybe a sandalwood, maybe lingering around in there as well. Some musk. There's a slight soapiness to it. Maybe that's what was leading me to uh, to feel like some of that aquatic vibe. We're gonna check out what this is in a minute. I like to guess some of the notes if I can in the beginning. It almost feels like Viking. Just almost. Yeah, it reminds me of Viking, but a bit smoother, a bit creamier, but it, it gives me that mindset of that fragrance. Maybe that soapiness, maybe that sort of clean airiness that I'm getting could be attributed to maybe a jasmine as well. But it's really, really nice. I wanna say I'm catching a citrus, but the citrus seems a little bit muted in the way that it's presented. Hmm. It's really nice, it's really light, airy, has like a little bit of this cooling effect to it. There's something that's slightly misty, slightly watery about it, but not overly so. It's very, very slight, very small hint of that. There's a musky aspect to it. There's some creaminess in there. There is like a, like a faint sense of a sandalwood that I'm catching. 
there is a woody aspect going on, but everything is just really well balanced in this. You're just getting like a really nice combo as well that comes off like a soapy mint that I'm really enjoying, like a soapy herbal mint. This one, in my opinion, would come off great in the spring uh, as well as the summertime. I feel like this is cool enough, refreshing, uh, and creamy and light enough, sort of airy, to operate in the summer as well. And once again, that is Meadow Breeze by Barrett Fragrance. Love this new presentation. As a lot of you guys may know, this is his previous presentation. And don't get me wrong, it is nice. But this, this is really beautiful, the way that this comes off. Uh, and it definitely sets itself further apart from the previous presentation. Both of them are solid, but this one is just really pristine in the way that it's done. Love this weighty cap. Love that I can pick it up by the cap that it holds this bottle, love the bottle is weighty. Love this metallic cap, metallic label that's on the front. I kind of got that little reflective quality to it. The letters on this label are slightly raised as well. So you get like a little bit of a texture when you run across that label. Barrett fragrance is raised and so is the extract of parfum on here as well. On the website it says this is inspired by Green Valley because this fragrance has notes of citrus, crisp green leaves, it, says it has uh, white florals, aromatic herbs, and it also has amber and soft musk. It's a real pretty decent in the ballpark with the scent profile. Right now you can pick up this bottle, this is a 50 ml for about $65 on his website and to me that's that's well worth it. It's a great presentation. He does a really good job in making his fragrances uh, smell very refined, constantly updating his collection and his selection. Uh, very good customer service. He responds in a timely fashion. Very reasonable. And this one right here smells really good. I love how as it sits on your skin, it gets a bit more soapier and it gets a bit more, it has like this slightly like aquatic vibe to it as it begins to sit on the skin a little bit longer and it goes into that dry down. But that is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.